Luckily, everybody bought that Frank was dead and that I had disposed of his body. So Frank's funeral took place without Frank. The Mafia has a habit of organizing grand funerals for important people, where they forget the unfinished business they have with each other, or with the dead. The deceased are only shown in a good light. It's the principle of every gangster, at least at a funeral. So it happened that not only Salieri and our people made long speeches about their best friend Frank, but even Morello and other gangsters. Morello and Salieri cried on each other's shoulders. It didn't seem like they had been at each other's throats only the day before. Frank would have been spinning in his grave had he actually been dead. I guess everything turned out pretty well, only I had to think up something about Frank's family. Salieri, of course, wanted to help out his best friend's poor widow till the end of her days. I couldn't let him know that they were really resting comfortably in Europe at that moment. Tommy, it seems our problems aren't over. The prosecutor who nearly got Frank against us is digging up more dirt, and I've heard he even has witnesses. It looks like that counselor whose son you shot is sorely craving revenge. The prosecutor is a good friend of his, and if we don't nip it in the bud, they'll make big problems for us. That doesn't sound too good. What's even worse is that guy doesn't trust anyone. He has all the evidence against us in a safe at his villa. Sam and Paulie are taking care of the witnesses right now as we speak. And you've got to get that evidence, Tom. How will we get to it? Well, today we have an excellent opportunity. Mr. Prosecutor has decided to go to the theater, and nobody else will be home. That is, nobody apart from the home security, of course. But his study will be empty. His villa is in the millionaire's quarter. Mr. Prosecutor isn't exactly a poor boy. Thanks, Luigi. Your only concern is how to get in. But there'll be guards around the villa. Once inside, you should be fine. The villa will be empty. The prosecutor's office is on the first floor, and there should be a safe in the wall. For that, you'll have Salvatore with you. That's a guy who manages to open every safe in America. Once you've got all the evidence, leave before the prosecutor arrives back home. Okay, boss. Where can I find this Salvatore? He'll be waiting for you down in Hoboken on the corner next to the stadium, so you can pick him up on the way there. I don't have to tell you how important this job is to us, Tommy. Buona fortuna. I'll do my best, boss. And Tommy, if you happen to bump into the prosecutor, don't kill him, no matter what. It'll just bring us more problems. You can depend on it, boss. That business with Frank has really gotten Don Salieri shaken. He's probably feeling guilty, but I don't think he's got any reason to. He had to do it. It's better to die honorably than to betray the family and live like an outcast. Good evening, Vincenzo. Tonight I'm doing a little burglary, so I need something for a quiet little job. Tommy, a good old bat would do the trick. When you hit someone over the head from behind, they should be out cold for a while. To be on the safe side, take this here Colt 1911 too. I'll keep my fingers crossed, Tommy. Thanks, Vincenzo.
Evening, Chief. Let's get moving. Great. So where are we going? So, you can open any safe in the country, right? Almost every one, Chief. And how did you learn that trick? My grandpa was in a business. It's inherited. The safes keep getting better, so a fella has to keep up with the times. Some of the safes around these days are pretty tricky. Okay, we're here. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. Be quiet and do exactly what I tell you. Wait here. Yesterday, some patty knocked into me in the bar. A real typical son of a bitch. And I say to him, hey, pal, what are you trying to pull? And the bastard spits in my mug. What'd you do to him? Yeah, knocked him down. I'll tell you, you won't forget that in a hurry. And what did he do? He came right back at me, man. He nearly had me, the bastard. But my boys were there, and they knocked his teeth out. He got what he deserved. He can't let those punks get in the way. Yeah, but then his friends showed up and busted up the whole joint. Son of a bitch. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief.
So show me what you can do, Salvatore. Okay, Chief. It looks like we better get out fast, Salvatore. Got it, Chief. Piece of cake. Everything's fine, boss. Wait here. Salvatore, open the car. I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. Follow me. Drop me off at home. I live across the street at the stadium, a little ways from where you picked me up.
this is where I live. Thanks a lot. I hope it'll be a little cooler next time. Today I almost crapped in my pants. I hope so too. Get some shut eye. Well done, boys. The last job went fine. There's no evidence or witnesses left against us. Thanks to your persuasive methods, they won't even squeak. Thanks, boss. We try to make you happy. <laughs> well, you certainly did. But today we're here for something else. Pauly has a pretty interesting proposal. Well, I met a guy from Kentucky, William Gates. Everyone knows that Kentucky makes the best homebrewed whiskey. Well, anyway, this guy almost threw up when he tried the whiskey which Morello sells here. When he gave me a drink of this stuff, they brew back there, forget about it. I won't drink anything else. So I asked him about it, right? He said it was no problem and that he could deliver me as much as I wanted. You know, I got jazzed thinking about the dough we'd make on it. Well, I ordered a truckload of it. I said to myself, if it catches on here, we can make a bigger deal later. It would certainly be a good replacement for the loss of our Canadian. I like it. Nice one. Me too. So we're gonna pick up some beautiful booze. I'm already looking forward to it. Where are they hiding it? They'll meet us in the big parking garage. We have to be more careful than we were before. You'll get to the place by car with two other boys. They'll be your escort on the way back. You three pick up the truck and take it to our warehouse in Hoboken. The boys are already out in the yard waiting in the car. And bring me back a bottle so I can finally drink something decent. Count on it, boss. Get in. We're going for some medicine. Here, Tom. This might come in useful. Thanks. Wait for us here, boys. We'll be back in a little while. When we drive out, follow after us. Then, we'll have a shot at the warehouse. Sure, boss. They're waiting for you already, mister. Hey there, Bill. It's good to see you again. Hey, Polly. These are my partners who are good friends. They like the idea of working together. And they also like first-rate whiskey, which yours certainly is. That it is. The main thing is that Don Salieri likes it too. And since he's financing the whole deal, 
Here's your first payment for the goods. Give Mr. Salieri my regards. I'm always happy to do business with people like him. You should be, Bill. You can hit it big with this. If this small delivery works out for us, we'll order a lot more next time. Take cover! What's going on? Jesus, who are they? Fire! Kill the bastards! Magnet now. What the hell was that, Polly? Who were those hoods? How should I know? Okay, okay. Well, we can't hang around here waiting for more of them to show up. Let's get the truck and get the hell out of here. Tom, you drive. I'll follow behind in one of the other cars. Where are you going? We gotta take the truck.
be careful. Idiot, go! You wanna pay attention? Fine, use the steering wheel once in a while. Oh! You wanna get me killed? Tom, where are you going? Yeah, I'll take the truck. I used the steering wheel once in a while. Be careful. Okay, we did it. Looks like Morello got in the way of things again, boss. You can't seem to shake off this bad luck. Boys, you won't believe this, but it's completely the other way around. The only one who really had bad luck this time was Morello. What? I found out who our Mr. Gates really was. And? Gates was never really from Kentucky. He was a small-time thief who stole the goods from Morello and wanted to sell them to us. Morello doesn't think that he almost stopped our deal, but that we pinched a truckload of his most expensive whiskey. I bet that bastard's happy now. Unbelievable! Well, that worked out just fine. Let's drink to that. To another success, boys. Salute! The end of Prohibition in 33. You probably weren't too happy, huh? Yeah, the end of the good old days. Yeah, not too happy, but it wasn't all bad. Eventually, I did get married to Sarah and had a daughter. It was a good time. But life went on in business. We made a huge amount of dough during Prohibition, which we invested into new deals. A lot of them were legitimate. We had regular firms like construction, transport, restaurants. We ran labor unions. And of course, there was gambling, betting, the lotteries. We actually did really well. We just tried to stay out of drugs, even if it wasn't always easy. Come on, business is business, right? You're way off there. The Cosa Nostra ain't no patties at Chinaman. With drugs comes big money and even bigger problems. When someone has a problem with the cops because of drugs, he does the sensible thing. He admits it. If his family catches him, they rub him out. Drugs are taboo. So what, there's some kind of grand poobah passing judgment? Something like that. The leading families choose a boss of bosses. They sort out the big problems and set the rules of the game. So, criminals who break the law have their own courts that judge them? That's just great. Laws aren't changeless holy words. 
every country in the world has their own. It's just somebody with a lot of power applying their own will. It depends on the person whether they'll serve someone else blindly or apply their own will. Why should the Don be restrained? The Mafia prevailed through prohibition with its own laws. A handful of poor, uneducated immigrants from Sicily were stronger than all the laws, courts, and police here in the States. That took some doing. What? With murder? With the suffering they caused? Come on. You think that the Mafia just murders innocent people? The Mafia punishes those who break laws. And the majority of your laws, too. Unfortunately, we can't put anyone in jail or fine them. Everybody who comes and works for us knows what to expect if he breaks the rules. People lie and steal, and there are lots of criminals here who get unbelievable pleasure when they steal from the mob, as well as the mafiosos who get pleasure from cheating the state. And what about all the payoffs, robberies, and raids, huh? Hey, the cops ain't no saints, neither. No Don encourages his men to go around harming people. And what other people do on their own isn't our concern. And as for payoffs, most people come to the Don for help and advice on their own. And they'll pay gladly for it. The Don is an esteemed person. But not every Don is like Salieri. That's the truth. There you go. Your system works, but you know why? Because you're a bunch of selfish murderers. And you only care about your own gain. All your efforts are spent ensuring that you live like pigs in shit. That's why you're so successful. You're only looking out for yourselves. We look out after everybody. A few cops have to ensure law and order for all. And that's a much harder job. That's true. But you can easily leave the Don outside your protection. He'll watch his own back. And what about you? What are you sitting here for? Ah, Tommy. I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard has called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my card. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro.
At last. I could eat a horse. Hey, Danzarieri, welcome! Pepe, you don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Pepe. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Don. Praise from a gourmet like you always are making me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Adana? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> What the hell is going on? This is ruining my lunch. Well, I must have nothing better to do. They could have at least let me taste the wine, Gobbles. Get this over with. <laughs> Throw him his present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out. Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? My ears are ringing from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them, while I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. You weren't so bad yourself, boss. Christ, that was crazy. Thank God Pepe hit. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. We should. Boss, I'd like to know how they knew where we were. You think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. Who? Carlo, my bodyguard. That goddamn son of a bitch. He's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was gonna happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. We're going.
Carlo, you bastard. We're coming for you. Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door. Stay ah! there and kill the bastard. No, please spare me. He's run down the fire escape, Tommy. Get him. Shut up, lady, or you're next. Oh, Kill that bastard, Tom! Carlo, you old bastard! We're coming for you! Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door. Stay there and kill the bastard. He's run down the fire escape, Tommy. Get him! Show yourself! Shut up, lady, or you're next. Oh. Kill that bastard, Tom! You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. It's nothing. First time for me, too. There's a first time for everything. Well, who do we have here? How are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair. And he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing. Real bad. Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. You cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions in this free country of ours. Carry on, boys. What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? I'm afraid in the current situation Bastard. we can't ask him. Burn it and there is nobody else who could tell us what happened. Our guys are dead and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could you please shut up? We're trying to talk here! Go to That's hell! There's no way to talk to Mr. Morello! Bum! God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What should we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before. Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss! It looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. Tommy, that assassination attempt means that Morello has openly declared war on us. We have to deal with him. If Morello didn't have accomplices with the politicians and other important city organizations, our forces would be nearly equal. If we liquidate those people, our opponent will be a lot weaker. That's exactly what we gotta do. Eliminate his strong contacts. Right. And as we all know, an all-out war must be avoided. Get the generals. Then the soldiers will give up without a fight. So this is what we'll do. We'll finish them off one by one. What do you mean exactly? The first in line is the city councilor who's caused us so much trouble. Morello got him into politics and that makes him a big supporter. We'll take care of him after the boy, and I mean today. The councilor is celebrating his birthday and has decided to throw a huge shindig. He's having it on a steamboat with fireworks and the whole nine, and he'll be making a speech to the paparazzi. 
There'll be a lot of people there who won't do dick against us when they see what happens to him. It sounds pretty risky. But well worth the risk. Vincenzo knows the plan. Okay. As I said, it's on a steamboat. It won't be easy to get in without an invite, but I know you can do it, Tom. Above all, try not to raise suspicions before we reach our goal. Of course, you won't get a weapon past the security, but I've dealt with that already. As soon as you get on deck, go to one of the men's rooms. There'll be a small revolver hidden there. Afterwards, just wait outside a while. The counselor will probably be hiding in his cabin, but he'll be out for the start of the celebration in his speech. That's your big shot. During the speech, you're gonna pop him, Tom. It's got to be in public, and this speech is the best opportunity. There'll be a big crowd there, so you can blend in with it once this thing is all done. And then what? I'd like to get back to shore in one piece. Afterwards, it'll be nuts. There'll be some security guards on a boat, and you should be able to get past them in the chaos. If not, get to the bow, and Paulie will pull up in a boat and bring you back safely. So what, Tommy? It won't be a picnic, but you should pull it off. Okay. I'll do it. The boat is anchored on the waterfront on Central Island. You better get going or you'll miss it. Keep an eye on the time. Bona fortuna, Tom. Well, here we go again, Ralphie. Today I need something for one use, because we don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Th 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 that's no big problem. I have here this little number. They're, they're pretty, pretty popular these days. Also, they're pretty solid. Look, look how easy they are to nap. Yeah, great, Ralphie. That should do the trick. Enjoy yourself. Idea was it to have a party on a boat. 
Whose idea was it to have a party on a boat? This rocking is making me queasy. Whose idea was it to have a party on a boat? Whose idea was it to have a party on a boat? Do you wish anything else? Yeah, some kind of dessert, please. Sure, I'll do it for you. Anyway. This rocking is making me queasy. Did you enjoy the dinner? It was fantastic, darling. Some of these dames ain't getting it. Maybe they want to try a real man. There isn't time for that. Hey there. Do you know where the key's out of that broken john? Don't bug me. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, I kind of need those keys. I left something there. Yeah, right. Maybe I'll lend them to you, but you gotta promise to clean up that mess in there and bring them right back to me. I'll wait in the stern for you. Clean up? Um, sure. You bet. Okay, there you go. But bring them back. Hey, come here. I need your help. See how easy that was? You ain't so bad, you could open a cleaning firm. Yeah, and I'll use you as the rag.
at least I can dine decently for free. There are supposed to be fireworks, don't you know when? There's so many lovely people here. They're all so nice. Hello there, John. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Good evening. Yes, it's lovely here. How are you? I hope you like it. Thanks. We're glad to hey, be here. I'm glad you could make it. It's wonderful. Thank you. We're real lucky. I think it's done. Later on, when things were starting to go well, I got married to my darling Agnes. Tommy pulled it off. Now all the politicians in the city are scared. Nobody wants to end up like the counselor. Nice job, Tom. But it's not enough. Now we're after Morello's right-hand man, his brother, Sergio Morello Jr. He controls the unions in the city. His biggest assets are the dockers' unions, thanks to whom he practically controls every import into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello income is gone. I think I know how we'll do it, boss. Sergio is usually at the Italian Garden restaurant. There's a telephone in the restaurant, and across the street, a phone booth. You go to the booth and call inside the restaurant, saying you want to speak to Sergio. I'll be standing in front of the restaurant with a Thompson. And as soon as Sergio gets to the phone, I'll waste him. Then we just gotta get to the car and make a quick getaway. What do you say? Yeah, I suppose I can handle the calling part. Get to it, boys. Vincenzo will give you your weapons. Vincenzo, I need a Tommy gum and something for Tom here. Okay. Here it is, boys. I'll keep my fingers Thanks. crossed. Tommy? I doubt I know how to get into this one. 
Hey, Ralphie, we need a car. Hey, I have a new uh, Terra plan here. It's decent and a real big, sturdy car. You'll like it, Polly. It has a new type of lock, but 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 if a person is clever, it ain't no problem to open it. Just like this, nice and easy. Push in and click. Great. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. Here we are, stop right here, Tom. Okay, I'll stand out front. You call from that booth. Say you want to talk to Sergio. As soon as I kill him, I'll get in the car and wait for him. Sure thing. Yeah? Mr. Morello, please. Hang on. Buddy, Mr. Morello ain't here today. Try. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, 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 oh. It isn't him! Polly, move it! Morello isn't there! It wasn't Sergio. Sergio wasn't there today. Ah, hell. Now we're in shit. We're going back to Salieri.
first thing, I gotta lose these cops. about it, Tommy. It happens to everybody sometimes. Vincenzo and me have thought up a new plan. Biff told us that Sergio has a mistress who he spends a lot of time with. He must be there today. Vincenzo has put together a little surprise for him. All we gotta do is put it on his car while he's inside enjoying himself. That's right. All you gotta do is put this bomb right under his car. Then you can just enjoy the show. Sergio usually leaves at four, so hurry. This time it has got to work. His mistress lives in a house in Oakwood. We'll know he's there if his expensive little sports car's parked out in front. Stick the bomb under it. That sounds a lot better. I'll get going.
There it is. Let's have a look. Christ! No, no, no! Hey! Stop! Shit! Damn. That's one hot dame. That girl, it came out and sat down in the car. I don't know, maybe he lent it to her or something. It just happens sometimes. There's nothing you could do. Put it simply, we gotta get this guy. Sergio meets with his bookie downtown in the parking lot of the Rainbow Garden Restaurant. Get Paulie down there to fill him full of holes. You'll just drive, Tom. Then get away fast before the alarm goes out. Now I'll catch that bastard, I promise. He'll be gone, and they won't even know how I did it. Now get a move on so you can still catch Sergio there. Stop in that parking lot! Those men in black! That's them! What the? You have a message from Mr. Salieri. What the hell's going on? Oh, no. Well, that certainly changes the situation, gentlemen. Kill that clown!
After so many foul-ups, Salieri gave the job to other people. I only went with them as kind of an insurance policy. Just sit here and watch, so you don't screw up again. Amateur. Barriers close. Go! Real damn professional.
Hey, what are you staring at? Kill that bastard tailing me! Okay, come on out, you bastard. I've never seen this lock before. I don't think I can get in.
Ha! That didn't work. Huh? I don't know what you're trying, you bastard. My brother will kill you along with your whole family. Give it up. You're dead. You won't get in here, you idiot. You're too small for me. Hey, you hear? Lucky bastard. I know how to get into this one. from heaven, Tommy. I need some wheels quick. What happened? A buddy of mine called. One of our friends was shot in Chinatown and he's lying in a street near the square. He needs help. You need to get him and take him to the dock in Oakwood. There's a hospital in Oakwood? He's the one that you took Sam to once. Sure, I remember. So, can you do it? Okay. If you clean up the blood from the upholstery. It's no problem, but move it. He's dying out there.
Luca sent you? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with him? What do you think? He got hit by a 45. The second one's much worse <sighs> off. So it ain't a good idea to take him to the hospital. Take me to the doctor in Oakwood. Make it quick. If someone don't take a look at him, he won't make it. Okay, let's go. Ow. Don't give up now, bud. You'll be with the doc in a while. He'll put you back together again. Here it is! Stop here! Thanks a lot! Okay, let's go, bud. We're okay. The doc will look at you. Jesus, what a mess! The whole car is covered in blood. I hope Luca has a lot of soap. Is he okay? Yeah, they're at the doctor. He'll be okay. Oh, that's a load off my mind. Hey, he's my good buddy. I owe you one. Well, since you do, could you clean the blood off the seats? The car looks like a slaughterhouse. Hey, hey, don't worry, Tommy. I'll sort it out. Well, I hope so. Ah, shit. Well, that guy sure ain't short on blood. You can say that again. It was like a freaking fountain. Hmm. Yeah, except that water is much easier to clean off a post. And yeah, you just wait till it dries. You could donate the blood you cleaned with that cloth to the hospital. <laughs> now it's mixed with soap. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I got a nice piece of work for you today, and it's no big deal to get it. No blood? Nah, don't worry. At the multi-story car lot in Central Island, there's a beautiful sports car. You just go and lift it. Box? Oh, nothing special. With your skills, hey, it'll be a piece of cake. You just be careful that the gatekeeper don't call the cops on you. Okay, thanks, Luca. Put a towel on a seat so you won't get a wet ass. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> <laughs> 